This is what I call a slanter. It is a photographic device that slants images uh, and sometimes makes them all circle-y and stuff. It's built on the principles of a rolling shutter, so it's got this slit in here. And essentially, as you take a picture with a long exposure, you can imagine the slit moving down. And as it moves down, an object moves across the slit. And so at the start, the slit just has the start of the image. And then further down the image, the object is further along. It's made up of three parts, each of which you can learn how to build in the video linked in the description. This part is the crucial one. It moves in front of the slit. It's also the one most prone to breaking. This part is what attaches directly to the camera. And this part is what allows the whole thing to rotate if you want it to. You assemble the parts by placing this circle into the mount, making sure that this rectangle bit has this top aligned with this duct tape bit, placing the fabric on top of it, and pushing the rubber bands around. If you want to make the rubber bands pull the fabric across the slit, you should do that by attaching the rubber bands more firmly across here. You should pull until the slit reaches as far as it goes, and then repeatedly move this around until it's used up all the slack. And now, when you want to take your picture, you pull down, and then right as the shutter is going off, you let go. In the real world, you will often want to take pictures that are longer than this slit allows you to with the rubber bands moving. The way of doing this is attaching this to the camera. Because of the time it takes to move the slit across the front of the camera, I would recommend having at least a shutter speed of one second. And because you're dealing with slow shutter speeds, I'd also recommend using a tripod. Because you can't exactly focus once the camera's in the device, you should manually focus before the device goes on and then put the device on. When you apply these strategies, you can take some pretty decent pictures. When you want to switch which hole in the fabric your rubber band goes through, or it, in case your rubber bands break, the way to do that is through untying this, it's a little tight, and then you can remove the rubber band Find the new spot you want to put them, slide the rubber band through, and then retie by placing them crossed over like this, folding one over, folding the other over backward, then finding this hole and passing both of them through that hole, and then pulling it tight. Although at any given point in time, you will probably want at least one of these to be on the second hole in because that allows this to pull more strongly to that side. Okay, thank you for watching this. And as I said before, if you wish to build this, you can find the tutorial for that in the description. Uh, and I should note that when you have one of these on, you can't be fully zoomed in or else you're gonna miss some of the image.